Okay, welcome to my channel. Today is September 3rd, and we're going to be reading from the Al-Anon literature today. Welcome. Let's see what we have going on. How are you guys doing? Ready? Let's, uh, we'll read Hope for Today first. Uh, we'll read Courage to Change and One Day at a Time in Al-Anon as well, also known as ODAT. I don't know why I needed to say that, but I was like, when someone was referring to it uh, the other day, they're like, oh yeah, in the ODAT. And I'm like, what is the ODAT? And they're like, one day at a time in Al Anon. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. All right, so why am I looking for this? It's over here. Today is a good day. You can make the best of the day. You know why? Because we we're here to live it the best way we can. All right. Page 247. You ready? All right, here we go. Recently, I reacted to a situation. I started to get angry, really angry. I felt like a victim. Thank goodness for all the meetings I've attended and for the slogans and phrases I've heard over and over. I've also heard that the word anger is just one letter short of danger. I knew my anger was leading me in a hazardous direction. And remembering this warning, my Al-Anon lessons came back to me and I switched quickly from anger to gratitude, I considered things I could be thankful for at that moment. From anger to gratitude is a huge leap that I could take only with al help. I sought the place in my heart where I could find peace and serenity and move toward acceptance. I took a spot check inventory on anger. Then I was able to begin to accept the things I could not change. In a matter of hours, I found myself in a safe place, the place Al-Anon has created within me. I realized that there was little I could change about the situation. All I could change was my response to it. As I continued to work through this, I grew even more aware of the potential danger to be found in anger in both word and deed. That one letter, one second choice between working my anger or working my program meant the difference between creating a cavernous gap in my relationships and creating connections based on unity and harmony. I thank my higher power for gently repeating my healthy choices to me through the sharings I've heard at many Al-Anon meetings. The value of regular attendance at Al-Anon meetings becomes evident when I least expect it, but need it the most. And there's a quote from uh, the forum dated November 1999, and it'll be on page four. One might think that reading the same steps traditions and prayers over and over at meetings would reduce their impact, but that is not true. So, you know, just that alone right there for me, like reading the shares in these books over and over helps me. It puts me in the present moment. It gives me something to chew on, like I can chew like, I don't know why I'm saying chewing, but yeah, just like, I just feel like I can just chew on this. Yeah. I don't know if I can actually switch my, my anger into acceptance as this is talking about, you know, like I'd have to like picture myself. I think it may take me some time more time than it seems like this is trying to say, but you know, maybe I missed that point. I was listening today. 
about how to uh, place boundaries up um, and to know what they are. Because when, um, like I, I grew up in a pretty codependent type of family uh, dynamic. And so I'm listening to this, um, this therapist online and she's talking about narcissism and how to deal with it and how she said something like, um, she called it gray stoning, gray rock something like that, like a stone or a gray, something that's gray and a rock or a stone, something like that, or gray pebble, I'm not sure what it's. Anyway, if you guys know what it is, I'm trying to like, that's reminding me of that, like to be in a place where you just kind of aren't affected by the anger that is brought up to you. Like if you get angry or you get, re like, why would I get angry? Let me see triggers of my re and me reacting off of what someone's saying like for instance in an alcoholic situation right if we're all affected that way so maybe in a family situation like whether it's a user or not it's somebody that's you know like we're going to have this banter and I, I have to like tell them how I feel you know because I'm angry like this isn't okay you know I'm going to try to uh, get them to see my point of view. And I've realized, well, just from listening to her, this therapist person, plus listening to these, um, the, the readings, it's reminded me that there's, what is that phrase? It says, um, do you want to be happy? Right. Or right. Yes. Do you want to be happy or right? And I, of course, think, well, are they different? Why are, they're not different to me? Like, because I'm right, I'll be happy. And then I want everybody to acknowledge that, right? No, no, it's um, not when you're, especially when you're, when you're, you know, having discussions with, with an active alcoholic, right? It's, they don't ever get it. So it's, it's sort of like working with the narcissistic person. And um, so there's like to have that inner confidence and to know, like to use the program, to have gratitude and to have a plate, like to come from that place is to remember that. Um, God, please help me. I can't do this alone. <laughs> My life has become unmanageable. Please help me. I accept you to help me, please. Please accept me, walk with me, yeah. So the willingness to grow, just to have the willingness to change um, is just, uh, it works if you work it. That's part of that whole, it works if you work it thing. Anyway, I may have to, I, I may, I, I can elaborate one one day a little bit more about that. Um, so how are you guys doing? I know I keep asking that. It's one of those things. Stop asking me. <laughs> okay. All right. What did I say today is? Oh, today is September. Oh my goodness. Get to the page. All right. So courage to change. Page 247. Before coming to Al-Anon, I had built a lifetime of dreams and promises that were reserved for that one special day called someday. <laughs> someday I'll begin or end that project. Someday I'll call that friend with whom I've lost touch. Someday I'll let them know how I feel. Someday I'll be happy. I'm going to take that trip, find that job, and speak my mind someday. Someday, just wait and see. Almost seems like it's a song. Wait just as I waited. 
for the alcoholic to come in from a binge and for inspiration to bring interesting friends and career opportunities to my doorstep and for everybody else to change. But Al-Anon has helped me to see that today can be the someday I've always wanted. Okay. There isn't enough time in these 24 hours to do everything I've hoped to do, but there is time to start making my dreams come true. By asking my higher power for guidance and by taking some small steps in the direction of my choice, I'll be able to accomplish more than I would ever have thought possible. Today, I will not wait for a blue moon, a rainy day, the 366th day of the year, or someday to accomplish good things in my life. Thumbs up for that, right? So Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, quote, said, each indecision brings its own delays and days are lost lamenting over lost days. What can you do or think you can do? Begin it. For boldness has magic, power, and genius in it. Yeah, okay. Oh. Someday I'll learn how to play guitar. Someday I'll learn how to play piano. Someday I'll write notes. Someday I'll read my Alan on literature every day. Someday I will be. Yeah, um, the boldness works and um, love and gratitude and um, uh, joy, I think are action words, you know, like just move forward in that uncomfortable um, place and space and just go for it and just see how it goes. I have picked up the guitar a few years ago. I, I don't take lessons, but I listen for like four notes to sound nice together. And um, as long as I have my guitar um, tuned, so I learn how to do that. And, um, and then piano, I, I have a keyboard. So I just listen for sounds that I like. I don't know how to read music, but I can play by ear. But don't ask me to do it like again, like I won't be able to do it. But I do enjoy it. So because I kept saying one day, someday, someday, and it was like driving me insane. And, um, you know, like, especially because uh, I would always feel that way, like, okay, I'm not going to be able to do this because I'm not good enough, or I didn't take the lessons, or poor me, I didn't finish school, or poor, me. you know, like, oh, I didn't I, I quit that, I quit taking lessons, or I, you know, like all those victim things, you know, growing up in that alcoholism type of home situation. And I decided I'm just gonna go for it, just like this, you know, I decided to read so that I can listen for it. Um, I can make sure that I do it. And um, I just went for it. And also so that, uh, I figured, well, maybe this will reach other people too. So that's what I'm here for. <laughs> so, all right. Subscribe. Subscribe so that you can be notified every day. I guess today I'm uploading a little bit later than normal, but I'm I'm up every. I, I upload every single day. So here we go, September 3rd, page 247 in ODAT. What's the big idea in al -Anon? What's behind the assurances that I do have the power to improve the shape and texture of my life? 
in this, it is this, to look to yourself. Okay, what am I doing that creates difficulties for me or aggravates the ones I have? Good question. Could it be that I'm trying to fix everything by finding fault with someone else? In Al-Anon, I am encouraged to examine my impulses, my motives, my actions, and my words. This helps me to correct the causes of my own unease and not blame it on others. It's taking responsibility. At first, the idea that we might be at fault isn't easy to accept. We find it hard to believe that our behavior isn't all it should be. Once I overcome the habit of justifying everything I do and make, make use of such tools as courtesy, tenderness, and a warm interest in others, Miracles happen. So this I know because I have seen them happen to others who tried the al way. True. That's what keeps me coming back. So there's a quote from Thomas A. Kempis, and we know who he is. He's the, um, a philosopher from the 1800s, and he was also um, a pastor. So this is what he is quoted to say. If you cannot make yourself what you would like to be, how can you expect to have another person exactly to your wishes? We want to see others perfect, yet our own faults go unattended. Mm. Look to yourself. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It works if you work it. It's interesting, right? You can so easily see it in other people. So by coming into Al-Anon, I realized that I did have a way to uh, change my life for the better. And that was by finding out who I am and why. You know, I can figure out my whys. And, um, you know, I'm working the steps and it's been really illuminating. And um, I feel as though I have been changing. I have seen change in my life. My attitudes have shifted and I can, I can see the difference. So. With that said, I try each day to put my point of view and my attitudes on a sound spiritual basis. I read that yesterday and um, one day at a time in our own. It's, um, I know it will change all the circumstances of my life for the better also. I will see the results in the way other people respond to me and in the way my daily needs are met. So conserve, concern, love, and kindness on my part will be reflected in everything that takes place in my life. Yes. I love that. It's on page 246. A tolerant, uncritical awareness of others will gradually change my personality for the better. Right on. That's not, that's not for the faint of heart, but we are here to be better versions of ourselves. So, and in the other um, series uh, today, Lesson 157 in A Course in Miracles, into his presence would I enter now into God's presence, I would enter now.
This is a day of silence and of trust. Let go and let God. So we'll go ahead and end with the serenity prayer. So grateful for you guys. I really like the comments. It's so fun to interact with you guys and um, please share and subscribe, like I said, and thumbs up so that other people can find us. It helps the algorithm. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow. So let's go ahead and say the serenity prayer and be present. Take a nice deep breath in and out. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change, to have the courage to change the things we can and the wisdom to know the difference. So God's will be done. Keep coming back, it works. All right, bye you guys. Mwah, 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 mwah. I love you. See you tomorrow, okay? Take it easy.